Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. I'm, I'm back here at my neighbor's house that uh, I live next door. We've been working on this yard for about two years now. And when I took over this yard and, and told her I wanted to help her out and, and give her a, a better yard, it was a, it wasn't all that great. It was just an okay so-so yard. And of course, the two years, it has really changed in a drastic kind of way. And the way I changed this is I followed my cool season guide that uh, I've got at gciturfacademy.com. I'll link that up in the description below if you're interested. Now I get the whole lawn domination thing is a little small part of me that, yeah, I don't mind dominating the neighborhood. I think it's pretty cool in a way, but it's more important for me to love my neighbor. And so what we did is we took over this yard and kind of transformed it and turned it into what you see today from what it used to be. Matter of fact, I think she's kind of kicking my butt right now. I'm getting a little, that's where I stay over there and I'm being dominated by my neighbor uh, who I take care of her yard. So that's, uh, uh, I don't know where to go with that. That's, she, I think she's kicking my butt right now. This shows you about how far behind I am. This is usually done about a month ago, but I just been crazy busy and Hadn't had time to get my beds right and get it scheduled, but it's happening today. So what exactly does it take to be able to stripe up the yard, right? Well, number one, you gotta have a grass that'll stripe, okay? that's I think that's the base where you have to start. If your turf won't stripe, it's impossible to stripe your yard, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna put a link to a free little write-up I did about striping and things like that. That's gonna be in the description below. It kind of tells you from start to finish it all pretty much everything you'd need to know about how to stripe turf now you know i'm a fescue guy i'm a tall fescue boy i like my fescue i've got fescue bluegrass mix in my yard this is all tall fescue test plot is all tall fescue and i've got blue heat kentucky bluegrass back there in the corner behind the building all three of those mixes stripe incredibly well I uh, personally think fescue is going to stripe a little harder than Kentucky bluegrass. But with that said, man, they're neck and neck. We'll go back there in a second and look at the bluegrass and I'll show you what I mean. Some of you folks have ryegrass for cool season turf uh, far north. Now, ryegrass ain't going to work here. Uh, it's just, it gets too hot for it. It's just not going to happen. But there are places in the country where you can grow ryegrass. And man, I'm going to tell you what, that stuff is incredible. For striping so last fall we planted ryegrass at my shop and the reason I planted that ryegrass is I'm testing out some varieties to get the optimum best deepest darkest green color I can possibly get and of course we'll use those varieties in a new seed mix we're going to be coming out with in the fall of 2020 now talk about a striping turf wow that ryegrass is incredible for striping i could not believe how hard and deep and crisp those lines are now bermuda being a warm season turf along with st augustine centipede and zoysia i've seen some zoysia that is striped up incredibly hard i think alan's been working on striping up his st augustine looking pretty good centipede mm, i don't know i hadn't really seen much of it enough to know if it's going to strike good or not and bermuda i've dealt with bermuda quite a bit and i do know that it's a little finicky a little difficult when it comes to striping but when we plant that gci turf heat wave bermuda at the shop i'm gonna try and change that sounds like a pretty good challenge to me right and obviously depending on where you live is going to depend on the type of turf that you can have okay i don't want you getting into this thinking if you live in texas you can plant ryegrass uh for a, for a you know a, an established yard and have that all year long because chances are it's not going to happen and then i also want you to know that if you live in north dakota and you get super does it get cold in north dakota i don't know i just kind of picked that state um wisconsin i know it gets cold in wisconsin so if you live in wisconsin and uh, you're wanting a, a year-round bermuda yard not sure that's going to be the best pick for you because you get so cold during the winter so once you get your grass type right and you have a grass type that's going to strike the second thing you need that big ball of goodness right there 
So what does the sun have to do with it? Well, when I'm mowing, you see this light color pattern? That means I'm mowing in that direction. I turn around and come down right beside it, okay? And when I'm standing on this side of it, it creates a light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Now, if I went on the other side over there and we were looking at it, it would be flopped. This would be the dark stripe and this would be the light stripe. Stripes are always gonna show up the best when the sun is at your back and the stripes are out in front of you. And what happens is that sunlight is reflecting down off of the grass blades because you mowed it and tilted it in a certain direction. Now what I did, I was standing right over there filming just two seconds ago and I walked and now the sun is in my face and look, I can still see the stripes but not nearly as good because I'm not catching that good reflection off of the sun. I'm looking into the sun and it's kind of distorting the view. So let's stand right here and let's do a 360 right quick and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm looking into the sun, the same yard and let's spin around. Now look at the difference. Now I've got the sun at my back and look at those stripes. So if you're looking for your picture finish, your showcase finish, make sure that you mow in the direction so that when you want to take that picture or things want to look really, really good, make sure the sun's going to be at your back. This right here is the GCI Turf Blue Heat. I got it back here in the corner. Man, it is really starting to take on that blue-green look. It is absolutely starting to get that look that bluegrass is known for. Now, I haven't been mowed in a few days, so I'm going to give it a quick mow, and we'll see how it stripes up. I'd say that looks a little bit better. Now, again, number one, you got to have a turf that'll stripe. Now, you may inherit something like that. You may be in a home that you already have a fescue or Bermuda or rye or whatever. You need to figure that part out so you know that if that turf is going to even stripe or not. Once you figure that part out, then you get that GCI uh, lawn care guide, whether it be a cool, cool season turf or a warm season turf, really pump it up, get it healthy, get it nice and perky. That guide tells you everything you need to know, step by step by step, what to do, when to do it, how much to use, it even shows you where to get the products the whole nine yards. Number two, that big ball of goodness, we've already got that, right? You don't have to do anything to get that. Number three, you need a mower. You gotta have something to mow the turf, right? And I know what you're thinking. Well, my mower don't strike. Well, I got a solution for that. See, some mowers like this Wright ZK uh, from the factory, it's a commercial style mower. It's gonna stripe regardless of what I do to it. Uh, they actually stripe really, really good. I've got some old X marks that we've been using for almost 15 years now. They stripe like a champion with zero modifications done to them. Then you've got mowers like this little mass port over here. It stripes okay. It all depends on how good the turf is as to how good that stripes without any help. The Y Bravo over there, that's another uh, commercial style push mower and it actually it stripes pretty good on its own too, but uh, when you can enhance it with a roller and make it look 10 times better. And these real mowers do a heck of a job at striping. Now, what's one thing all these mowers have in common? Some stripe good from the factory, some don't. I've been working with big league lawns for about two years now, and these rollers never cease to amaze me. This is the one I put on my ZK. It's got a little quick connect system, so I ain't popping on and off whenever I want to. And you see, it's got a decent amount of weight to it. And what that does is it's rolling, and it gently tilts the turf over one way. That way, that sunlight is going to reflect off of those grass blades. And when I go down to the end of the, my pass, and I turn around and mow right back up beside the, the one I just come down. See, I mow, turn around mow turn around mow turn around what that's doing is that's tilting the turf a little bit this way a little bit that way a little bit this way and that sunlight reflecting it off off of it is what gives you that appearance the cool thing about that company is they make these rollers for almost any mower on the market that right there's for a little 21 inch push mower 
That right there is for a 25 inch wide Bravo. Well, where's your roller for this thing right here? Well, I don't need a roller because the back tire is a roller. See that? And even the little baby brother has got a wheel for a roller. Isn't that something that's pretty cool? He's wondering why that thing stripes so good. It's that roller. They'll even do you a custom size one. I had them custom make this one for my three-point hitch on my Ventrac. This is kind of my farewell mowing to my neighbor's yard, and I'm mowing with this big old 95-inch deck on my Ventrac. And look, it goes all the way across another roller. So, man, my neighbor's yard, you're wondering why my neighbor's yard stripes so hard? Well, that's why. I got one roller up here on the front. I got one roller back here on the back. Now you see those checkerboards? That's a simple pattern, okay? This is not complicated or difficult. I'm, I'm simply mowing the grass this way, and then I'm changing my angle and mowing it this way. And the, the sun catches the reflection from both angles, and that's how you get those little checkerboard boxes in the yard. Man, are these stripes right here are absolutely on fire right now. I've been working on this for a little while now. I think it's really cool looking, especially when you get up in the sky and check it out. So hey, the moral of the story is have a turf type that's going to stripe. Make sure that that turf is suitable to grow in your area, okay? Get that GCI Turf Academy lawn care guide, warm season or cool season, so you can perk it up and get it good and healthy so that it will stripe like this. Live in a place that's well lit with sunlight, which I think that's, uh, that should be pretty much all of us. Unless you live up under a rock, then that's not going to work. And number three, you need a mower. Well, again, some folks' mowers just don't naturally strike, but those lawn rollers, I'm gonna link it up in the description. I'll send you a link to uh, the Big League website, and I got a coupon code that I'll put down there right beside it, get you 10% off if you're interested. Say I'm working on another video right now, and it's gonna kind of be a start to finish on my neighbor's yard. It's gonna be the past two years combined into one video where we went from, what we did to it, and of course you see it now today what it looks like and I'm, I'm pretty proud of my son he picked up a, a yard across the street and then he's also going to be mowing this one I'm, I'm gonna let him have my mower I'm not gonna let him have it I'm gonna charge him rent to use my mower uh, to uh, mow this yard over here you know as it needs mowing so he's kind of starting that little hustle that little entrepreneur uh, spirit and uh, maybe he can pick up some more yards in here and, and make him some money throughout the summer so, hey, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Like, subscribe, share, tell all your buddies. And uh, you know the deal. I'll check you later.